What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Unquiet Live. We are coming at you from the Haven in Pomona, California. Shout out to the Haven, as always, for having us. And today we have a very special guest, uh, Orange County's own King Shelter. They were so sick, such a great live band. Um, we talk about how they came from Florida and started a band here and went through ups and downs and big songs, and it's all about just having fun. Great interview, great performance. You're going to love it. Um, but before we get into that, I got to tell you about Distro Kid because Distro Kid is the partner of the show. They help sponsor the series, help keep us alive, and they're the best music distributor out there. They get your songs into Spotify, Apple Music, uh, iTunes, all the online stores, streaming services, and they offer a lot of really cool features to help you even promote your own music. Like, for example, they have this thing called Mini Videos, and basically it's this little video creating tool that shows your artwork, shows some cool features and assets around this cool little video, and you can post it on social media, you can post it on your TikTok, your Instagram stories, your Instagram, all the stuff, Twitter, Facebook, all the things. Um, and yeah, DistroKid's just the best. They're there to help you. They're there to help get your music out there and to help you promote it. And they do it all for one yearly fee. It's great. And you can get a discount on that fee by clicking the link in the description of this video. You sign up, you save some percentages on your uh, annual fee, plus you support Unquiet Live. So it's a win-win for everyone. So sign up for DistroKid, get your music out there, and enjoy this episode with King Shelter. Thank you again for tuning in. We are back, we are back, we are back with King Shelter, and they're about to get into their first song. Thank you, boys, for being here. Take it away, Tony.
God damn, that was so epic. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, I love this. This like, I'm just so happy right now. I, that was crazy. Thank you guys for being here. Seriously. Dude, thanks for having us. <laughs> you know, you how could I turn it down? <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. I, I have so many questions, but um, it was so cool that, that you guys played that Echo show. When was that, like last week and, and stuff? So thanks for doing that, too. That was crazy. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> Super yeah, fun. Um, yeah, you guys are just such a good live band. It's crazy. Um, thanks, brother. Yeah, yeah. and that, that kind of gets me into my first question. Um, it just seems like you guys are it's so like second nature for you at this point. Like You're all just such individually talented musicians but um and i know you've (laughs) but i know you've been uh because you've been playing as a band for quite some time has it been this specific lineup for that long though or have you been through iterations yeah a few changes here and there um but we just play a lot i mean that's why any of us are doing it we like playing you know it is interesting there's a lot of bands that don't really want to play shows they want to make stuff and put it out we're definitely more interested in playing that's i don't know that's why we all got into it in the first place is to play some tunes live with your friends, with your homies. Yeah. So that's why it's cool to meet bands like Deathlands and, you know, High Curves and other dudes we've met this year that's like, man, they want to play shows. Like, yeah. that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and, and that kind of, uh, that makes sense because I think something about you guys, like, uh, you meet you meet so many bands that are kind of up and coming or that, have, like, have been doing it and have some success and, like, they kind of have this little ego trip going and I feel like you guys are like anti that like everyone you guys are just so cool and chill and you're like <laughs> you have more of a ground to be egotistical if you wanted to but you're not um yeah so that's is that yeah like what's your mindset with just the band how do you like avoid that ego kind of rising you know oh uh, because nobody's cool <laughs> you know I don't know like nobody's cool we're just having a good time like I don't know we're all like best buds so we're just kicking it having a good time and I mean on the other end, though, like, we take it seriously. Like, our practices are, you know, pretty, in, not intense, but it's like, you know, we're trying to make our, our shit sound nice. Yeah. Like, we wanted to be super tight. We've all been playing music for a long time, and so, you know, we want to make it we want to make it sound really great. But at yeah. the same time, we're just if it's not fun, then why are you doing it? And that's what I've struggled with, with, you know, with the band has been around for a minute, so there's been some eras of, like, it not being fun anymore and then having to take a step back and be like, well, then why... Why are we doing it? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather not work in music and still enjoy it than the latter. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. What What makes it like not fun when there's just like, when it's like too businessy or too like. Well, it, I think it, it could be a lot of things, but I think at the end of the day, it's on you, the pressure you put on it. So I, you know, the band definitely had an era where there's a lot of people relying on, say, King Shelter to do well, mm. and it drove and made me kind of lose my mind. Mm. And then every show that there wasn't packed out or sold out, or someone screwed up or whatever, it would just destroy you and knock you ah. down real hard. Whereas now it's like, man, if there's nobody here, like, what about those few dudes that are here, few people that are here to watch us play? Like, let's give them that whole, you know, give them what we got. Yeah. So, yeah, it's supposed to be fun, and if it's not fun, then don't do it. You know, yeah. I don't think anybody here cares to be a, a famous person i think everyone here wants to play music yeah yeah makes it different you That's can tell right when you meet someone you can tell whether they want to play music or whether they want to get stopped on the street you know yeah yeah damn that's so cool it's so refreshing to hear just because i feel like there's a lot of uh yeah i i think especially right now and i'd be curious what your take is on like the la music scene since you guys have kind of seen it go back and forth between but but I feel like there was a time when everyone was just playing shows and it was fun and just like but now I I feel like I don't even really like booking shows because it's always just a pain in the ass to like deal with agents and deal with bands and like everyone's asking for like a ton of stuff and like and I'm also on the flip side of that like everyone deserves to get paid and like do well like I'm, I'm not about like underpaying and shit but but it's also just like it gets, it gets way more complicated. With you guys, you guys were just like, yeah, sure, like let, let's do it. Like I'm down, and it was a fun yeah. show. Like it's yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, like the I don't know. There are some people that I don't know. I've worked with agencies too, where it's like we missed out on sh- some shows that would be really fun because the agent was like the money ain't right, mm-hmm. you know. And you get it. I, it's like you're saying. It's like I get both sides. And I mean, the L.A. music scene. I mean, I'm from South Florida, so I moved out here almost ten years ago now, and. I didn't even have shows really in Florida. So, you know, the first five years, I was definitely like enamored by it all. The mm-hmm. fact that just dudes are playing shows, kids are playing, like there's just stuff happening everywhere that was cool. But then yeah. 
I don't know. The trend stuff gets weird. It's like they just go back in time. So when I moved here, everyone was playing like 80s music type of stuff. Mm-hmm. And now it kind of is like it kind of went a little grungy. Now it seems like everyone's like into pop punk again or something. I don't know. It's just yeah. weird. So I just don't. I just stay in my lane and make the stuff I want to make. And these dudes are playing the stuff they want to play. Like we're just you stay in your lane and do your thing because yeah. you're supposed to enjoy it. If you're chasing a trend every time, then you're just going to probably miss out. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. If you're making stuff that like you don't even want to listen to. Like, yeah. <laughs> who do you what do you how do you think you're going to grow? How do you think people are yeah. going to care? It goes all the way back, you know, to the same phrases. Like if you're not doing what you want to do with it, then why are you doing it? Like yeah. that's where it gets weird. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Hell yeah. Well, I want to, I would love to ask about South Florida, but if you guys want to get into a couple more songs, then we'll, yeah. we'll chop it up a little bit more. Let's chop it up. Awesome. All right. More. kind of goes with what we were talking about just now <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect time um y'all could roll into the next one if you want oh yeah yeah oh, and then cool. we'll yeah we roll into this one and then we'll talk all right y'all good antidote Bite my 
scene <laughs> so it's uh, it's so hard i love that song it's so uh it, i don't know like it it's so dynamic all the changes that's and, our like, deep track you crazy know? shit yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah thank you yeah the uh i was gonna ask something else but that just reminded me um and your sweater reminded me the restraining order sweater back sick, then. sick. uh so y- do you guys because in that song some of i hear some like hardcore stuff but then obviously like you guys are pretty dynamic um when you write, is there like a specific thing you're trying to get out or like, do you guys tr- like stay kind of, do you ever write something and you're like, ah, oh, that's a little too hard or like we need to stay in this kind of like different scene or do you guys just kind of do whatever feels right, whatever feels good and then put it out kind of thing? Yeah, I'd say King Shelter, this project has been lucky enough to been throwing curveballs from the get go to where we can kind of make any sound we want to a certain extent obviously it's just what we want to make it's got to be fun right so yeah. you know lately i was into a lot of heavier hardcore stuff so put some of those elements in there in the way that i like to and i mean you know we like playing a crazier live show but you know we're putting out a record uh in 2023 and that's you know a lot more mellower stuff on there because that was kind of just what was going down when that record being made, you know? So messed around a lot of analog synths, did some other weird stuff, and it's fine because we already got the next record written after that, and that's all heavier stuff. So Damn. it's like, yeah, you just, you know, make what you want to make, man. You don't got to be locked into a, to what everyone thinks your sound is. That's, I don't know. Yeah. I'm a big Radiohead guy, so it's like every album is like a new band almost. Right. But there's the consistencies throughout the records. But it's right. like a whole new sound that they're trying out. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's yeah. supposed to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. The yeah. through line. I love yeah. it. Um, yeah. So, damn. So, you already have like a bunch of stuff written? Oh, yeah. Okay. 2023 yeah. going to be a good year. <laughs> nice. Yeah. We put out some music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I was going to ask because um, you put out the EP last year. Um, yeah. Right? But uh-huh. nothing. 
something new this year like no, no, no. official drops yeah yeah this is the first you're getting the nice the the official uh yeah we're putting out Hell a record yeah. called ego death in 2023 wow yeah damn i was yeah. just talking about you guys you guys have they're not yeah, there so yeah, there we yeah. go <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's awesome yeah. um hell yeah it was do you is like that coming out on a label do you work with labels are you like self-release like what's how's done, done a little bit of both yeah trying yeah. to figure out what that's kind of been the delay is trying to figure out what to do with this next record. gotcha yeah okay yeah nice. kind of putting together all the back end pieces cool that stuff sucks yeah it does yeah. that's when it becomes not fun but, <laughs> right. but you have to do it there's something that you have to do and especially if you you know there's a fine line of like caring enough about your music to wanting people to hear it whether they like it or not at least giving them that chance to hear it you know and it's important yeah yeah totally because we we're really proud of the stuff that we're making and that we're doing and you know we want people to at least give it a shot they don't like it that's fine but we want to be able to give the record itself a fair shot too it's its own right little living baby you know right yeah absolutely yeah yeah um so when you write are you guys is it like a band jam session are you like bringing stuff so let's say do you write on your own like how how does that all work yeah i got a, i got a little studio at my place and i'm nice. usually just making stuff there and nice. running it by these guys and we pick it apart and nice. put it back together yeah got it yeah do i don't know how people just go in a room with nothing yeah and just make songs that would take us that would take me so long uh, yeah i don't know how they do it i would love to watch but no i get all nice and alone in the dark uh, and i make some stuff and run it by these fools and we'll tweak yeah nice yeah do you write lyrics last or yeah i do yeah i'll make like full instrumentals and then like write some melodies and stuff like that yeah yeah, I don't know how people start with lyrics either. Yeah. Everybody's different. Everyone yeah. gets gets through it different, but yeah. I mean, I take the lyric side pretty seriously too. So, you know, that always takes the longest to try and figure out and play Sudoku or whatever and right. put it all together. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because that's what I was gonna what I was getting to because yeah, wait, are you good back there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stick broke. Um uh yeah, your lyric writing. I, I love your lyric writing. It's okay. it's like uh very poetic in a sense. Hmm. Like, I, I don't know. Like, uh, um, you say a lot and you pick the right words. Like, you, you're you good at that. <laughs> you got to whip out the thesaurus, man. You got to <laughs> do it. No, I just try to make it intentional, you know. Yeah. Like, I have a lot of stuff to say. Sometimes just figuring out what exactly you want to say, what's appropriate to say, mm -hmm. and how to say it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like just trying to do stuff different and in your own way. And, you know, you hear a lot of common phrases in music and, you know, just trying to come up with your own way to say stuff yeah, yeah. cool yeah. hell yeah, yeah um, it's all practice though that's another thing i'll say is you know writing is a practice it's like a muscle you have to like do some curls and get it working so you know people that are i just have so many friends that have like half written songs and they'll never finish them and then they they just get thrown away it's like a muscle even if you hate the song i try and get every single thing idea all the way to its end just for the the muscle practice nice you know? yeah smart yeah. that's very smart yeah i know a lot of songwriters who um excuse me uh we'll write for for other people even just to like help kind of flex that muscle and yeah. like yeah it, it's interesting to see like the big pop songwriters like doing you know writing hits but then are also in like their own bands and like their just mind is consistently in that songwriting mode for sure yeah i mean the pop world's weird too because they're like formulaic you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah. so it's, some of those dudes just know the formula and just know what's gonna work yeah i've been in a lot of those writing sessions for that stuff and i just really? i never do well no. really <laughs> yeah so i'll hit it with some weird stuff and the whole room just looks at me like who, who how do you get here yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah. um so okay so before we get into the last song I, I i'm really curious about the origin so so you're from florida and yeah. you moved out here for the band or like to be in the scene or like how what was that yeah decision? i wanted to get out here i've always wanted to play live music in florida just at least where i'm from fort lauderdale there's not a ton of it there's a little bit and there's a lot of hardcore but i wasn't super into it at the time mm -hmm. um so yeah i just found a college that would give me a scholarship so i could get an excuse to get out here and then lasted about a semester and a half <laughs> yeah i mean i finished online i finished online nice, i'm nice. the greed up but <laughs> That's how I met most of these guys and most of the people that played with me is kind of through that little realm of school and stuff. But no, yeah, I started playing a ton and we started touring a lot, so I couldn't really go to school. I did online and stuff, but yeah, no, the goal was to get out of here and play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then when uh, Everything Hurts, was that like the first track that kind of blew up from the project? 
Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, something just worked about that one. Yeah, yeah. I don't even. It's just one of those things, man. Yeah. Everything with this is a gamble. <laughs> you, you just throw stuff really up. Is. You never know. <laughs> and that was like right when the whole Spotify playlisting thing became like big and important. Got it. You know, so when I when I first put out records, it was like people had to buy it for ten bucks on iTunes. You know, mm-hmm. so I think that was some of the first Spotify stuff we did. And yeah, I don't know. We met some people at Spotify and they helped it out and it was cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. And then, um, calamity like took off pretty well too. Dude, That's just weird. (laughs) That's part of the gamble thing, man. Yeah. It makes no, we made that record as like a, we had a lot of people pressing us to make more poppy stuff. So we made a, like kind of a bunch of pop songs and then that was like the anti as like the joke for us. And that's the one that worked. Yeah. yeah it's so ridiculous. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the, the, the lyrics. I, Cause I love the lyrics yeah. of that song. It's so good. It's just well, like yeah, a huge fuck you to like, yeah, yeah. The whole time. Yeah. It's just funny, man. You never know. That's why when people ask me like what their singles are, like when they're sending me batches, I'm just, I don't know. Dude. Yeah. No one knows <laughs> if the band thinks it's a single, it's probably not. That's what I figured out so far. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Good luck out there, everybody. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's great um well shit you want to get into the last song and then we'll we'll close some things out let's do it awesome Did you not practice that? Like that was fucking perfect. <laughs> I was surprised you thought you were gonna mess up. <laughs> that was so good. Man, that was. That was nerve wracking. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, honored 
that you guys came in. This is fucking awesome. Oh, dude, this thanks so much for having us. This so is good. super sick, man. This is cool what you're doing. This is a hustle. I, yeah. get, I, I see your hustle. <laughs> I see the hustle going on up in here. It's, <laughs> it's something. This ain't easy. Yeah, it's true. It is true. Thank it's you. ADD people, man. They see this video and think that's a lot of work. Man. I know. That's true. <laughs> it really thing. is. <laughs> One boy behind the camera, dude, he's, just, he's hustling. Dude, he's been holding that thing. He's, his arms are tired. They're going numb, dude. <laughs> There's 30, yeah, it's 30 <laughs> people behind that camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, yeah, before before we sign up, I, I mean, I know you have some cool shit coming out in 2023. I know you have that tour with the High Curves coming through. That's going to be sick. Yes, sir. Um, if you're doing some dates with them. West Coast thing, right? Yeah, a little West Coast run, and yeah. we're going to go out and hit Vegas. Is that West Coast? It's not on the coast. Ish. It's west. Yeah. yeah it's west. <laughs> but yeah, no, it'll be fun. You guys had them here. Those guys are the yeah. best. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Best Great dudes. dudes. Yeah. yeah. So we're hyped. Yeah. It'll be that's, fun. That's going to be sick. And then the, the project, the album. Yeah. And you got yeah. some more music rolling out. Yeah, um, some wine and some grinding. Some the whole wine thing. and some grinding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But was there anything else maybe that we didn't talk about that you guys wanted to, to touch on or any wise words, parting words of wisdom? Parting words of wisdom? Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, that's, we're, we're putting out music next year, and then we're really excited. It was stuff we fussled on. We're going to just put out more stuff. And kind of like we were saying, though, a little less worrying about the back end. Just put stuff out, you know? There's people out there that we just want to, I don't know, people want to hear music, we'll give them some music. If they don't like it, that's cool. If they do, it's even better. But you'll see us playing live probably way too much. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I love it. That was great. That was great. And then, um, yeah, just real quick from my end, I uh, got to shout out Guayaki Yerba Mate for mm. sponsoring the show, for being partners. These guys are drinking them up. Having, I mean, they're the best, right? They're freaking super good. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, you got to catch them. Let's get this sip. Look at all four. I mean, <laughs> that is beautiful. That is the sight. That is quite the sight. <laughs> yeah shout out to guayaki they're fucking awesome and just really help keep the show live and to also of course dc shoes who have been the partners for the show for the last couple of years and like yeah just hook it up yeah dc dc is partners josh we'll get you guys some kicks too Wait, josh kalis is just cruising around in here dude. josh <laughs> that'd be crazy yeah yeah well they, they always send shoes to the band too so we'll hook you guys up we'll need to get your sizes and all that um, I see with the girl sweater back there, so you guys must must be skaters at least. He's the biggest skater of us all. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, we were all bummed because right uh, across the street is an awesome spot. And yeah. the last time we played here, we hung out there what like four hours. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> and then it started raining, and we we're all bummed. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to go find a structure. Yeah, that's what he called me. Not not about what we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we going to skate that spot? Yeah. yeah, I always see skaters right there. That's uh, Okay, so that's, that's a spot. Yeah, yeah, it's a good spot. That's tight. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, and then last but not least, Tobo Chico Mineral Water. They've been sponsoring the show was like almost since the beginning. So shout out to Tobo Chico. Double Thank Chico. you guys. Love y'all. What's up? Um, <laughs> Uh, and yeah, with that, thank you so much, King Shelter, again. Um, really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, we do some more shows, more stuff together next year. And excited to hear the new tunes and all that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much again. Oh, thank you guys, the hustlers right. over here. Respect. <laughs> Thanks, guys.